Hey there, science enthusiasts! Welcome back to our channel, where we explore the fascinating world of scientific breakthroughs. Today, we have an incredible discovery to discuss, the Josephson diode effect. Researchers have been busy experimenting with a simple three-terminal Josephson device, and the results are mind-blowing. So, let's dive right into it. First off, what is the Josephson diode effect? Well, it's a phenomenon where a superconducting diode is created using Josephson junctions. These junctions have a non-reciprocal critical current, meaning the magnitude of the critical current flowing through the diode depends on the bias direction. The researchers fabricated a three-terminal Josephson device using a fascinating combination of materials. They used an ENAS two-dimensional electron gas, 2DEG, proximatized by an epitaxial aluminum layer. Fancy terms, right? Well, these materials are crucial for the diode effect. Now, let's talk about the device itself. Picture a Y-shaped junction with three superconducting terminals labeled 1, 2, and 0. This configuration forms the heart of the device and plays a key role in achieving the Josephson diode effect. So, how does this diode effect actually work? It's all about a synthetic realization of the Josephson current phase relation, C phi r. This relation contains higher harmonic terms, which make things more interesting. The phase difference, provided by an applied magnetic field, adds to the magic happening in this diode. Here's the exciting part, the diode can be switched between positive and negative polarity. How? By simply applying a small out-of-plane magnetic field or using electrostatic gating. It's incredible how external influences can completely change the behavior of this diode. Now, what makes this discovery even more remarkable is that it's not limited to a specific material system. The researchers found that the diode effect can be realized in any material system exhibiting the conventional current phase relation. This opens up a world of possibilities for future applications. Wait, there's more. The diode efficiency factor, a measure of asymmetry between positive and negative bias, reaches up to a staggering approximately 48% in the devices they presented. That's quite an impressive efficiency for rectifying supercurrents. To wrap it up, this research showcases the realization of the Josephson diode effect in a three-terminal Josephson device. It's based on a clever combination of materials, a synthetic realization of the current phase relation, and the ability to switch between polarities. The implications of this discovery are vast, ranging from dissipation-less electronics to gate-tunable building blocks for superconducting circuits. And that's a wrap for today's exciting scientific exploration. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more mind-expanding content. Stay curious, my friends.